Oh friends, I have some fun for you today. This is gonna be week three of our journal prompts. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can download your free journal prompts. They are down in the description and you can download them and print them out. I'm gonna start this week's journal prompt with just the background. It's something I found over at Megan and the Moon and I will link her. She's got some really fun ideas and we're gonna make a faux jelly plate and have a lot of fun with color today. Okay, so what you're gonna need, I have, you can use any paint, acrylic paint, um, ink, whatever. I have a golden high fluid, cerulean blue deep, I have an old Heidi Swap spray. It's like neon pink. And I also have a Daler and Rowney ink. I love these inks, they're gorgeous. All right, I have a brayer. That will help roll. I have an old Amazon envelope. Finally, something to use this for. And I have a baggie. This is a gallon size baggie. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold your Amazon envelope to fit inside your baggie. And we're just gonna put it in here like this. And as you can see, I have used this several, several times. So it's gonna last you quite a while. Now I'm gonna seal it. I'm gonna get the air out of it. And seal it and now what I'm going to do is I have cut up pieces of tissue because my book journal that we're working in is this size it's like five by eight five by seven so I'm going to use smaller pieces of just plain old tissue paper that I got at the dollar store the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Cerulean Blue Deep. I'm going to spread a little bit on there. I'm going to take the Indigo ink and maybe do two drops. And now, please notice, I am not putting a ton on here because it just will go very far. So I'm also going to add a little bit of this, but I'm not sure if it'll come out or if I'm going to end up using the acrylic neon pink, but we'll see. All right, so what I'm going to do is take my brayer. I'm going to have these pointy ends facing up and I'm going to roll and lift, roll and lift. Now the fun part about this, I think, because I'm a crazy for circles, is that in this Amazon envelope, you get the hexagonal pattern of your bubble wrap. Okay, so I'm also going to take this and just take the excess off. All right, so now I've done that. I'm working fairly quickly because I do not want it to dry. And I'm going to place my tissue pieces on here and I'm just going to spread with my hands. Now, you don't have to use the Amazon bag. You can just use, all, well, you can use all kinds of stuff in here for different textures. You could use crinkled up tissue, crinkled up newspaper. Now, like I said, I am kind of a crazy for <laughs> circles. Oh, gosh, I love this. I love it. The purpose of doing this on tissue paper is that it makes it see-through. 
So you can get maybe one pull from this. Then what I'm gonna do is spray it with water. Take my paper towel. Wash it off a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to start again. All right, so this time around, I'm gonna try a little bit of neon pink. This is Artist Loft Pink Neon. I find it at Michael's, it's their brand. Good old Michael's. What I'm gonna do is take my brayer, rub off that excess, and I'm gonna rub this. I had a lot of excess on that brayer, so I'm just gonna use that up. And I'm also going to add in a couple of cerulean blue dots. I'm going to change direction. I'm going to go this way. And now I'll lay down the tissue. Catch the last little bit there. Rub. And pull that. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's got some really nice colors in it. And this one's a little bit lighter. And I feel like I could go over it one more time. And kind of add to it. So again, I'm going to turn this. Move that out, and let's take this one that I did before and add to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that one a lot. So much so that these are from my first ones, the first two that I did. I'm going to add, see if I can pick up just a little bit more color on this one. And it gave a little bit more and I like that. That's pretty. All right, so you're gonna let these tissue papers dry. Dry, dry, dry. And I'm gonna show you one more cool thing to do with this paint. So my papers are drying. I have the baggie here. This is pretty dry, but what I also have is packing tape, again from the dollar store. And I'm going to tear it, lay it down, press, find the edge, here we go, edge of the tape. And I'm going to peel this off and it is going to pick up all that color. Now this is gonna be really fun to use as well. So you can go through and pick up more paint. If you want, I always, I'm gonna fold a little edge here so I don't lose it on this baggie. Just a little trick. Also fold it because this is from the 99 cent store and you will never be able to find the end again. All right, here's the folded edge. Ooh, yeah, this one's pretty. There we go.